being married is really wonderful. <laughs> everyone i hope you guys are doing well welcome to another episode of adulting with me heart and cheese today <laughs> we are not going to be so uh, heavy it's been so heavy these past few episodes but it was a good kind of heavy very uh, you learned a lot from it but today we're just going to chill and make kwentuhan so more like personal questions my very very first question is about you know parents and um being part of a modern family like us like when we met, when was it? When did you feel it was the right time to introduce your partner to your children? To introduce your partner as a person or as your partner? Okay, Ben. Yun nga. Ano ba dapat gawin? Um, think ano? Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina. No, things should flow naturally. Meaning, you can introduce the person you like, mm -hmm. you're seeing, initially dating, um, as a person, anytime. Alang nga namang pag dumating yung mga bata, di papalisin mo, pag dumating ka, papalisin mo. Di ba? Hindi naman ganun. Uh -huh. But um, deciding when to introduce that person as a partner. Yeah, I think it's, you have to be sure. It's a different story, exactly. Yeah. You have to be roughly sure and headed in that direction. Yeah. In my case, um, in our case. It took about one month. Chat. <laughs> no, in our case, um, I introduced you as a friend, as a person. You, you, we were putting them to sleep, reading. Oh, um, na stress ako dun. Reading books to them until they fell asleep. I'm stressed because I have a required song, Lullaby. I need to sing it. And he yeah. does that every night. Anyway. Anyway, um. <laughs> tagal na na. Anyway, um, when you're already sure, in my case, I said to the kids. Remember that? Yes. And then they were um, super. Yeah. But I think um, it was supportive. like I think it was like over a year, about two years before. No, but of when of course they knew that we were together eventually. Yes, but when I proposed, no, before I proposed to you, mm -hmm. before I proposed to you, that was when I talked to them. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Remember? Yeah, but they knew we were together before. That. Yes, but, but that it's a serious situation. Yes, right before we got yes. married. Yeah. Okay. Yon, so, so even timing. Um, being married is really wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, but like a lot of people that are so confused because we have a prenup, but some people when they're married, means in a gray area, like for example, who is going to buy this, who is going to buy that, what should be the expenses? For example, we. If you don't want to talk about that, you have a problem. You have a problem. You have a problem. Pwedeng pag-usapan ng diretso, pwedeng it just flows. Um, by tradition, usually men... Um, provide. Provide, pero sa mundo ngayon, hindi na rin. Yeah. Kasi may mga sitwasyon na mas marami namang kinikita yung babae tulad mo kesa yung lalaki. Um, so, hindi naman masama kawalan o um, sampal sa lalaki. Na to bring ano, the bacon also home. Yes. Um, hindi dapat pinepersonal na yun yun. Yeah. Pero nung sinaunang panahon siguro, yeah. Parang ikaw nga nakakalalaki yung babae. Parang ganun, noon may ganun pa. Pero ngayon, wala nang ganun. I think it's really more of, para malinis, the basic. Like, kuryente. Pero ganyan. paano nga kung hindi niya kaya? Paano pag medyo kinakapos oh, sa kaya. ilang Tulungan buwan? Tulungan mo na. Oo. Kaya nga, marriage is about helping each other. Yes. Not only with respect to expenses, but in other things as well. Emotional, psychological. So, expenses is the least of your worries. Dapat pa share ng account? Not necessarily. Yeah, I don't think so. We don't have a joint account because we have a prenup too. Tsaka hirap nang ganun kasi bilangan kayo. Pa, hindi mo alam parang sino ba nagtrabaho. Una, mas madaming ginawa to kaysa to. Tapos isa labas na labas na. Pero so magkakainis na kayo. So, Wala nang ganun. Lambingan na lang. Uy, um, ganda to. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nag-work. <laughs> Kasi hindi naman pwedeng parehong lumulubog sa kumunoy. Right. Dapat may isang may iwan sa taas para hilahin yung lumulubog sa yeah. kumunoy. Lagi sinasabi ni Cheese, okay, you wanna work, you wanna, you want to spend your money, then okay, enjoy your hard-earned money. But hindi, you can't expect na pareho tayong dalawa na nagwawaldas ng pera because in any case, um, if things don't work out for the other person, 
you have a parachute and my parachute is cheese. Tama ba? Sa magandang salita, pareho tayo nga nga. Pag... <laughs> exactly. So one has to be solid. It's a good balance. But I must say, compared to the last time, I've changed a lot. Yes, you've improved, but not yet there. Yeah, it's okay because I'm still working. Getting there. No, I know, but I'm still working. But getting there. Yeah, if I'm not working as much, then I'll adjust my lifestyle. But as of now, nice to adjust. I the, think I'm okay. Nice to adjust while you're still working yeah. so that you have a buffer. That's true. I think I have a buffer. Okay. So about <laughs> arguments. Uh, how about yeah, we just that. had one. <laughs> no, that, was, that was a very smooth <laughs> argument. How do you handle arguments? I walk out. <laughs> no. I'm the one that walks out. Cheese does the cheese. Sometimes I do too. Okay, I do too. Yeah. I do too sometimes. Dylan. Yes. No. Yes. No, you walk in, out. you don't walk out. You no. walk in because I walk... I walk out and I'm sleeping, right? No, I Pata walk out. I have said my piece. <laughs> in the middle of the night. Like, parang walang tao doon. This is the most irritating darling, thing that you do. Uh, darling. Kaya, kaya mga ginagawa yun para mairita talaga eh, para malaman I know, but it's been like over an hour, you still wanna, you wanna do pero, it. Pero darling, nangyari yun mga twice, thrice. Like five years ago? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, so how do you handle? Dapat forgive and forget. Forgive. Oh, but, 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 so how do you handle arguments? Um, you sleep? <laughs> you have handle uh, arguments. At the end of the day. You will not agree on everything. But as long as there is love and respect and separating is not an option, as you often hear, um, then you're good. Okay. Um, then you're good. Okay, uh, a lot of people ask this. Um, even if I'm earning my own money, do you still give me allowance? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a good husband. For <laughs> basics. So for basics. <laughs> For basics, well, not for I know, I know, I know. Pero the ano yung gray area niyo kasi syempre pag ano, uh, oh, nga ako <laughs> Tipid ko ng kote, water fast. Wala, pak, wala tayo pang bayad ng diet food. Ganun lang yun. But yes, he does give me a lot. For essentials. Naman. Essentials, like food. Especially because I travel with a lot of people. Ganyan. Mm. Gas. Hindi, hindi pala gas. Oo oh, din. Gas. Right. Mm. Tsaka may konting leeway naman siya. Pang zara-zara lang ba. So, happy tayo dyan. Okay. <laughs> what is the best advice for people in their 20s who are seeking professional growth? Ay, madaming ganyan. Seeking professional growth. Yeah, like for example, you're part of a company and then you're doing really, really great and your boss thinks you're wonderful, you're doing great. Then, I gotta go. Because usually, good in the 20s. They just keep shifting. They can't stay put in one. Read the 48 Laws of Power. It can teach you a lot of things. Um, for example, there's one law there that says, um, even if it's your idea, make it appear like it's your boss's idea so that he or she is pleased with you and your idea gets to be done. Yeah. Um, but that's not necessarily true all the time. Mm -hmm. But read that. And number two, um, it's best that you do what you love. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have to earn money and you're not yet doing what you love and you still have to earn money at that particular point in time, then Just wait. The difference. As you said, you're in your 20s. Yeah. Um, the person is in his, his or her 20s, so they have time. Yeah, because the generation now is they usually work and then they quit. They keep shifting. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yes, because you're still trying to find out who and what you are. For example, um, when I was a lawyer, um, not really for professional advancement, but um, it was the office was in Quezon City, so I chose to work there. Mm. Um, pag sa malaking law firm ka nag-apply, syempre maraming bida ron, maraming mas matas eh, matagal umangat. Pag sa maliit na law firm ka mag-apply, mas mabilis ka angat kasi mas konti naman yung tao doon. In my case, I applied there because it was near my house and also because it was a small firm, they didn't have that much manpower. So I was attending hearings in the morning, in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and I would see my batchmates, my classmates attending the same hearings. Sometimes we were on opposing sides and I was arguing with their partner. Mm -hmm. And they were, again, um, writing down notes, mm -hmm. giving documents, and um, we got to talk. He was earning more than I was, but I was having the time of my life. Um, being a lawyer, um, standing before a judge, arguing before a fellow lawyer. Um, of course, we were representing the smaller clients and they were representing the named companies and big companies. Mm -hmm. So it's a give and take. You get to decide what you want at a particular time in your life. Okay, going back to the love life. When somebody is suffering hi, from... Hi, I'm Mr. Shift. Eh, ganun talaga. There's no time. We can't waste time. We're on YouTube. Uh, we can say love, mm. but 
Yeah, um, when somebody's going through anxiety or the other one's feeling down, what should you do? Should you give them space? Ano ang dapat ko Advice? Actually, hindi ko rin alam. It's a work in progress. I try to give, I try to correct the way you sometimes think when you have anxiety but apparently it doesn't work because if you are um, in that stage uh -huh. nothing goes in exactly oh. <laughs> number two um ayaw ko namang i baby and be an enabler exactly so, so number ano three um you give them space by calling cheka i'm justin <laughs> <laughs> Tapos pag medyo okay okay na, doon mo na pwedeng dahan-dahanin yung advice. O Lena, don't think that way. It's not really normal. Okay, very good. Pero malaki na yung improvement ng tone mo. Because before the tenor of your voice was quite... I speak naturally. I know in that. In a monotonous way. No, it's not the monotonous way. I like the monotonous way. It just means na uh, uh, abrasive. Me? Of all people, me. <laughs> okay, okay. We shift now. We shift again to love language. Just a little trivia. When we were about to get married, we both went to counseling, right? And then they do an approval if keme or pwede ba or what. We came in holding hands. We we went out of that place. He didn't even open the door for me. We thought that was the end. The sabi pa ng girl sa amin. If you need, if you, need it, <laughs> you can you can go to my house. It's private. Oh, 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 Go parang, through with their wedding. Oh, parang ano ay nag-share pa siya ng ano ng mga ibang experiences niya nang like. Darling, hindi ka nakakatulong. Oo, oh, pero ako parang nako hindi na yata talaga. But anyway, we also spoke about love language. Yes. So, ano ang love language ko and I'll describe your love language. Can I describe my love language first? I mean, your love language. Okay. It would be service. You always say service because you get everything done. Guys, no joke. Hindi to pag or any. Sorry. Wala ito na test lang. Hindi to pag or anything, but siya talaga naglalabas sa states. Siya talaga yung nagugus ng pinggan. Siya nagmamop. Just ko pati yung counter, linis ng counter. Siya nagdadive. That's the way he is. Dito sa bahay, siya nag-check ng ano ng sewer kung may may madumi ba or anything. Ganyan siya. Pero hindi siya very uh, physical na malambing like that. But you make sure that everyone is okay. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. hmm. Ano pa? Hindi siya masyada mo words of affirmation. He's just learning how to do that. But I've improved a lot. You too, right? have improved a lot. Hmm. Have I gotten there? Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> ah. Ikaw, um, gifts and touch. Hmm. Tama ba? Hmm. Gifts and touch. Elaborate na ba? Haba haba na sagot ko. Kaya tuloy na kaya tuloy na ihirap na ako kasi parang dinadagdagan ko na lang yung service kasi hindi ko kaya ibigay yung parehong presyo ng regalo ng binigay niya sa akin. Tipo nga nan. <laughs> touch. Um, I've improved a lot too. Yeah. Um, am I there? Getting there? Mm. Do I think I got there already? <laughs> Lumpas pa nga. <laughs> <laughs> Sensitive ba siya? Dito? Darling, lumampas na ako. Tingin ko. Uh, nung nag-51, nag <laughs> sensitive. Darling, lumampas na ako. I think I, I'm not getting I there. I much. crossed the I line already. I'm getting already. That's good thing. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Anyway. Mamaya yan. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, uh, what is the, your best advice for people that have, that you love language nila, hindi mo shadow pa? Um, you can never force your love language on your partner. Mm -hmm. Naganong ka? Mm -hmm. Hindi naman niya kailangan maging ganun din. Yeah, but you have to fill up the love tank. So how do you do that? Yes, but when you say it's your love language, it's how you express. Exactly. If it's my love language, that's how I express. I cannot ask that my love tank be filled with service too if you're yeah. not like that. Yeah. You cannot ask that your love tank be filled if you're dishing out but gifts it, and touch uh, but to it, fill it up is too. Is it usually the same? If your love language is gifts and touch, you expect gifts and touch or it can be, it no. can be different? If you accept your partner's love language, then his or her way of showing their love 
should fill up your tank. Instead of defining his love language or her love language using your own. Mm-hmm. Yan talaga hindi mo fill up yan. Mm-hmm. Yan hindi talaga may fill up yan. So if you're still doing a tug of war na it should be like mine, your love language mm-hmm. should be like mine and vice versa, so you can never fill up yeah. each other's love tank. Yeah. But once you accept, realize, and embrace um, his or her love language for you or each other, then your love tank has a better chance of being filled. And slowly but surely, convince each other um, na medyo puno naman yung paraan mo ng pagpapakita din ng pagmamahal. Let's talk about in-laws. But just to cap it up. Okay. Let's talk about in-laws this time. The Nightmare mm. of Elm Street. <laughs> Hindi Night- naman. Hindi, <laughs> ako. Ikaw. I mean, I know. My, my parents, I'm saying. But, like, how do you balance things so then your relationship doesn't suffer? Because a lot of people still listen to their parents. They let the parents control parent the life. Blah. Of course they do, but you gotta talk about it too. Um, they will try. Siyempre, lahat ng magulang gustong akaya yung anak niya kahit matanda na sila. Hindi mo naman pwedeng tawaran yun. Pero um, sa dulo, as a couple, as a married couple, bilang mag-asawa, edi, pag-usapan. Yeah, you both have to be committed. No? Pag-usapan nyo. Ngayon, kung hindi ka sang ayon sa pinayo ng magulang, edi, pag-usapan nyo. Kung yun ang sinusunod ng asawa mo, kahit hindi ka sang ayon, edi, baka magka-argumento kayo. Pero sa dulo, pag may pagmamahal at respeto at wala pa rin sa usapan ng hiwalayan, then you will be able to overcome it. Yeah, agree. Okay. Do you cancel toxic members? Family members? Cancel toxic members? Um, ako, I kind of do. Ako, Before, I don't avoid them. I'm still civil with them. But um, at arm's length. I mean to say, um, hanggang doon lang. Won't share intimate things. Won't share um, secrets. Um, mm. But um, I will always have a meal with you. I will always talk about certain things, but at arm's length. But you don't cut people out? Um, no, because at the end of the day, sometimes it passes. Yung galit mo, lumipas na rin naman, nawala na. Yung hindi nyo pagkakaunawan, lampas na. And there are more important things to face or in life. Um, parang pag nagkasakit ka, nagkasakit siya, alam nga namang yung hugot mo, 10 years ago pa, tama na. Totoo naman, pag nagkasakit siguro or what, pag medyo ganun, you'll be there. Pero, Pero malungkot naman na kailangan pang hintayin magkasakit bago mo gawin yun, di ba? Pwede rin naman siguro. Because it's you protecting yourself also. You're protected as long as you keep them at arm's length. I guess we're different in that in a sense. You will come to that. But I'm okay with everyone. I'm just saying is I've learned that as I go through my life and parang I feel like that's when I, I, I knew that I was healed was when it's not that you you don't want to talk to them or be it's just that you have no more space you'll be there for them but you just have no more space to for them to destroy your soul anymore parang you've already built not really yourself, s- done. not really space but again if you keep them at arm's length those it won't get who to hurt that you, point, it yeah. will never get to that point. Yeah, but some people have strongholds. Like, even if they're afar, just a little comet destroys your... Then you hold on to your partner as your sanctuary and as your pillar. Yeah. And hopefully be able to recover from that each and every time it happens. I don't know how to do that. I think, I think as I got older, I got hard, a little bit harder. I think... Especially with like friends. Like, kanwari, I think to me, it's a joke, but in the end, Hindi mo oh, kaya. Hindi mo kaya, darling. Ay, ako friends. Pero ako naman din. When like, when someone or a uh, situation or a person would like really destroy me and I had no clue sa nanggaling or something. Wala pa naman nangyari. But I think in the past, meron. Ako nadala na ako sa isa ganyan eh. Bakit? May kagalit ka, galit ka. Ako dahil kagalit mo, nagalit na rin ako. Biglang makikita ko, chami-chami kayo. Buti na pa. <laughs> galit pa ako eh. Dahil sa'yo, galit pa ako. Tapos biglang, so anong gagawin ka? Papansinin ko rin ba yan, no? Oh? Okay na ba kami? Okay. <laughs> Ang hirap kaya nun. Oo, kasi hindi eh, ano. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, kilala na kita, darling. Matigas ka lang magsalita. Pero malambot ka rin naman. Lalambot ka rin. At medyo nabasa ko na yan. There are just, <laughs> there are just some people though. Oh, some people that it's time to cut. Right? Tapos makikita ko rin nga kayo. Mag-post ko. Hindi, hindi. Hindi ko na nga ginawa. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> 
Pero yun. So, I guess you just need to know <laughs> when it, you need to end things or when it's good for your soul or not anymore. Because at the end of the day, only you can save yourself. But it's always good for the soul not to cut anyone out because who knows, they might have changed, you might have changed, um, different situation. Mm -hmm. If you are forgiven, then why not forgive? Nak. <laughs> God is calling. Chat. Um, okay, so what if there's somebody in your family that was hurt by, uh, that hurt your partner? Who would you choose, family or partner? Somebody. Hurt in what way? Sinilaan, uh, sinaset up of some sort. Um, whether it's your family that hurt your partner or your partner that hurt your family, oh, whoever so did something mo. wrong, oh. eh, sino ba yung mali? So kung sino yung mali, ika-cut off mo siya? Hindi ka-cut off. Yun yung pagsasabihan mo at pipigilan mo. Um, hindi pa rin rason yun para pumilit maghiwalay. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, kung yung kinorect mo, pinili niyang umalis at iwan ka, hindi mo na fault yun. Hindi mo na kasalanan yun. Pero mahirap naman sa buhay yung habang buhay kang referee. Mm -hmm. So sana sa mga partner at magulang na nag-aaway o kamag-anak na nag-aaway, wag naman nila palaging ilagay sa gitna yung isa kasi yeah. ang hirap mag-referee. Ay, nag-referee ako for the longest time. Ang hirap mag-referee. Um, ba Ang hirap mag-referee sa dalawa. No, I gave you a, I gave you an easier time. I know that, but meaning I was having a hard time. Yes, but remember I told you even when they were still having problems with me at that time, I told you, um, they're your parents. Yeah. Um, go, it's okay. Wag ka mga pisakin, not see them or talk to them, dal nanay tatay mo parin sila. Mm -hmm. And it will just come to pass, and it did. Okay, so we've been married for six, thirty-seven. This Feb, this Feb. Usually, the lahi na ka kamali jan di yung babae. Kano wari pa nang chalant lang. <laughs> so seven years actually. Wow. So how do we keep? <laughs> The fire burning, the spark. Can't be in love 24-7 for all of seven years. Yeah. You're in love sometimes, you, you're not in love sometimes. Actually, what he means in love is not you don't love the person. Like, in love means like roses and sparks and petals type of thing. Head over love. heels, yeah. um, yeah. um, because sometimes you have problems. So now, when you're dating someone, um, you get to put your best foot forward. Galing sa trabaho, you leave it behind. Mm -hmm. Kung naman ang problema sa bahay, kung may problema ka man, pag nasa bahay ka na lang. Mm -hmm. Pag kasama mo, kaibigan mo. Pero pag may asawa ka na, nakikita niya lahat yun eh. Wala ka namang yeah. sariling yeah, space yeah. na eh. So, you they can't... They become like a family member. Well, they are a family member. So, know? you can't be... You can't put your best foot, foot forward anymore. It, get, it gets tiring too. So, yeah. they get to see that side of you yeah. too. Um, so, some people call that... Nagbago ka na. Hindi naman nagbago eh. Nagkataon lang nung, nung date pa lang kayo, nakikita mo lahat maganda, mabulaklak, mm -hmm. presko, bright. But do you have your dark days too. You have your bad days too. Um, and when you're married, as a couple, you get to see each other's bad days. Mm -hmm. I think the nice thing about Cheese and I is when we started out, we didn't pretend to be... You know, we were both coming from certain situations. Mm -hmm. We were just very honest with who we were. Mm -hmm. Na pag nag-aaway kayo, hinuhugot nung isa yung mga nasabi mo noon, parang... That's true. <laughs> but that's true though. Like, we were just very honest. So when we got married, the transition wasn't like intense or abrupt or biglang nagbago. No naman. Um, oo. Oh, oh. Pero yung initial honest thing yung talaga, parang lahat ng kaibigan ko, Huh? Sinabi mo yun? Nasabi ko na <laughs> Yeah, we, we had one conversation that was too honest and sometimes we kind of regret that we were too honest. It left a mark not, already. Yeah, scarred for life. But okay, advice to all, um, you know, everyone watching, if they're going through something, maybe they're looking for a message that they've been wanting to hear. I've never believed in signs or messages na pag may tumawed ng ganto, yun yan. Or pag may nagbigay ng ganito, yun yan. Or pag tumigil yung ulan, I've never really Believe in those believed things. in that. But um, as an example, when you're going home, coming home from the States, um, di ba hindi lumalabas yung RT-PCR ni, um, oh, ni Kino? Um, we all had negative RT-PCRs. Um, Siya um, My son, wala pa yung RT-PCR, so Hart and my daughter went ahead. Naiwan kami dalawa. Yeah. Naiwan kami dalawa para kung hindi man lumabas, hindi may iwan na kami. 
Um, I was praying for the results to come out from about 4 p.m. to about 8.02 p.m. for more than four hours, even saying the rosary several times. Finally, when I stopped at 8.07 roughly and said, Thy will be done. Bahala ka na, Lord. Um, kung may kami, may kami. I'm just give Hart and my daughter a safe trip back home. Lo and behold, at 8.14, it came out and we were able to catch the same flight and we came home together. So, I don't ask for signs. Sometimes, if you ask for signs, na, Lord, pag sinay mong, Lord, palabasin mo lang to. Ano na talaga? Ang totoo na talaga. Meaning, I don't do that. When I was younger, probably. But now, you just um, ask that His will be done. And then, um, if um, it's given according to what you want, then you're so thankful. If it's not, then you're ready to face the consequences of it not being given to you. Okay. Haba ba? Haba. Pero, just <laughs> a good one. All right. Well, thank you. That was a nice <laughs> chit chat. And um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will be coming back for more, but we're going to really think kung ano ba talaga ang gusto niyong pag-usapan. And if there's anything you want, just please suggest down below. This has been Heart. Cheese. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.